we've got this massive fuel tanker that's pulled alongside and basically the entire hull of this tank I just dropped my microphone overboard. Alright guys, so a couple of you were asking me the other day about how we get food and stuff on the ship. Food and fuel and, you know, what's the procedures that we go through? What exactly are we doing to get food? Have we just been staying out in the ocean this whole time and rationing food? Or are we stopping in ports and picking stuff up? So that's what today's video is about. We are currently pulling into Singapore. So let's go ahead and get going. Let's dock the ship and then we'll see what this whole provisioning process is all about. Let's go. Not pulling alongside the port today because that's actually a lot more expensive to pull our ship alongside so we've just dropped anchor here and what's going on behind me right now is we've got a big barge full of like sea containers and crates and stuff and what they've done is they've just loaded a bunch of food and supplies and basic necessities on that barge and they've got a tugboat behind it right now that's kind of pushing it into place so that barge is actually going to end up docking alongside the ship and then we'll go down to deck two and actually get to see them unloading stuff. They have this whole process where they sanitize everything that comes on board and then they put it into their respective places based on the food and all sorts of different supplies and stuff and they'll categorize it and stuff. Several of you guys were kind enough to mention that I should be using my knuckle. Oh, wrong direction to press the elevator buttons instead of my fingertip. Don't ever say I don't listen to you guys. Two. All right guys, well I tried to get down there to deck two but they asked me to leave because it's a little too close to the action and it is kind of dangerous. And especially since I'm not working on a contract right now, if I got hurt down there, that, that could have been could have been bad for all parties involved. So, so anyway, guys, I came up here to deck five instead and we've actually got a really nice view of the provisioning barge right there behind me. So we can at least see what it looks like for them to unload all the goods and stuff from the outside. And I think this would probably look cool as another time-lapse. So here you go. Now, guys, food and provisions and stuff, that's only like half of what we need to keep this ship running. And we can have all the food we want, but if we can't go anywhere, then, you know, it's all kind of worthless and we're just kind of stuck. So the other half of provisioning day today is we've got to fuel up the ship. So guys, for fuel, we're gonna have to head over to the other side of the ship here. We've got this massive fuel tanker that's pulled alongside and basically the entire hull of this tank. Oh, guys. I just dropped my microphone overboard. All right, first up, first recording on the new mic. John, you excited? First recording on the new microphone. Very exciting. I, don't, I have no idea how it sounds. I'll have to figure it out. Alrighty, one, two, three. Testing my new Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It's amazing. Trying to get the settings dialed in. One, two, three, four. It's amazing. All right, guys, I think I've got my settings dialed in. I'm, I've got the 20 dB turned back on and the gain on the camera dialed way back so that we're getting less noise overall. 
and more crystal clear audio from that mic. Amazing. So that kind of sucks. My super nice, fancy shotgun microphone fell overboard. It looks like I just didn't tighten it all the way down on top of my camera and it just kind of came loose while I was filming and <whistles> overboard it went. But life goes on, folks. If there's anything I've learned from the past few months, it's that you just gotta keep moving forward. So I've got this little guy here. This is called a lavalier microphone. Uh, this is normally what they use for like interviews and stuff. They like clip it on your shirt. Problem is that the lavalier microphone uses this little connector here and that doesn't fit all the way into my camera. I need one that's a little bit longer. Can you see that? So I tried taking this little ring off. It is um, really robust actually. And this is when it pays to be a technician. I'm just gonna solder on a new connector to the microphone, and that should solve our problem. guys hopefully that sounds amazing I grabbed a little bit of electrical tape from the office uh, a couple hours ago and I just taped up the edge of that cable so I believe we are in business you know it's it's probably not as good as my old microphone because I spent a lot of money on that nice microphone and now it's sleeping with the fishes but you know that's life guys you got to move on and make do with what you have so I am going to head upstairs and grab some food. I'm super hungry. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to hit the microphone when I do that. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Welcome to my new vlog segment. Oh, that's a little too bright. Welcome to my new vlog segment, Cooking with Riley. So today I was really craving like a Domino's pizza, you know, like obviously we don't have pizza on the ship right now. So this evening I've decided to construct something here. We're gonna need a knife. And yes, I promise I washed my hands. I know I didn't record it this time. All right, so we've got a little salami here. I grabbed some tomato sauce from the pasta station over there. And we're just gonna take some of that tomato sauce. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. This is... A little bit more difficult than I anticipated. I think I might go back for a little bit more pasta sauce. Hope this audio sounds good. Let's see if I can edit this into something coherent. That'll be interesting. Uh, you, you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get one of the little plates and then we can transfer that to our bread. And you know what, we're even gonna grab some Parmesan cheese. That'll serve as a little bit of fun as well. All right, so back to it. I'm gonna transfer some of that sauce. This is gonna be interesting, folks. We'll see if, I, if I'm able to pull this off. How's it looking, Cass? I failed. You failed? Yeah, like lots of cheese sitting on the baking table. All right, well, at least you tried. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about mine. All right, we're gonna grab a little bit of wax paper over here, and that's gonna serve as our base. We're just gonna throw that right onto the panini press. And we've already got it ripping hot. Guys, I've never tried this before. I cannot vouch for the authenticity of this recipe or whether or not it's gonna work. But that's life. You just gotta live and learn. On it goes. And number two, on it goes. Wax paper on top. We're just gonna gently, we're gonna actually hold that press up. By holding up the panini press, we're creating a hot box without creating too much pressure. And that's what's allowing us to get that cheese all nice and melted on top without making it stick to the paper too much. Or at least that's my theory. And there we have it. Not too shabby, I don't think. It's kind of zoomed in. Perfectly amazing pizza sandwiches. 
in less than 15 minutes. This has been your latest edition of Cooking with Riley. I'll see you in the next segment. Let's see how these are. All right, guys, overall, I think Pizza Toast was an incredible success. It did fall apart a little bit. It got a little soggy towards the end there. So I think lesson learned, I'm going to toast the toast before I put the pizza sauce on it in the future. Aside from that, major success, satisfied my craving for pizza, and yeah. Huh, looks like we are 44 days accident free. I guess that's what happens when you lock everybody in quarantine for an extended period of time. Arch is pulling away. Alright guys, it's a new day. So far the microphone seems to be working out pretty well. And there's something really exciting happening right now. Check this out. Right over there, that's Spectrum of the Seas. And that right there is Radiance of the Seas. I hope they're having a good time over there. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed. It's really comforting to see some fellow crew members out there. You know, it's a nice little reminder that we're all in this together. Once again, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more awesome videos, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.